Hello guys, thank you for watching this video. My name is Adrian, aka Smoke on different platforms. During this video I will um, present another free product provided by, by us. Um, it's a, a free admin panel coded on top of Tabler UI kit. Uh, anyone can use the, this product for hobby or commercial product because the, the license is, is quite permissive with the MIT. In order to use the product, you, you need to access our platform or, or go directly to, to GitHub and follow the, the build instructions listed in, in this section. I will, uh, I will build uh, the product uh, using a uh, Windows operating system, but uh, we are providing uh, kits already tested for Mac and Unix, so feel free to, to use it for other and build the product in, in other environments. I will clone the sources. The next step is to build the virtual environment to isolate all the dependencies required by the by the application. This will will take a while. Um, the application uh, is built by the platform using uh, uh, automation tools. Uh, we we wrote uh, many many articles about this. Uh, this uh, workflow basically we are using an HTML parser to to process the flat HTML and to extract components and the master layout for for all pages and uh, that uh, process design is injected into existing uh, boilerplate code already pre-built in flat Django Node.js and other languages and and, uh, architectures. Now the virtual environment is already is, is, is cloned. Let's activate the virtual environment. We need to run this command. Now we are inside the virtual environment, and uh, I will install dependencies using SQLite as a database backend. Now the dependencies required by the application is, are installed inside of your virtual environment, so our global environment is not is not affected. Also, this might take a few a few minutes, depends on your system speed. The next step uh, is to export some. I will read the, the font. The next step is to uh, export some uh, environment variables required by the by the Flask um, framework. The first uh, variable is Flask underscore app, and the second one is Flask under underscore env. Uh, I will uh, provide them both to enable the the debugging and also to inform Flask what what. Uh, the, the entry point of our application. Okay, this is the first one. This is the second one. Now the the application is is, is set up. We have all the dependencies installed. We have the proper environment to uh, start application. And now we can start the application with with a simple command like let's run and optionally we might specify the port by default the, the, uh, the default port for flask application is it's uh, 5000 let's say uh, I want to use this one now the application is started let's access it into the browser Okay, the, the database is, is created on the fly, so uh, 
let's try to authenticate into the into the application. For now, we have no 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 users defined. So let's try a test one. So of course we will get an error message. We go to the registration page and uh, let's create a simple a simple simple user. I will demonstrate that the the forms are checked for consistency. Let's use a field here that is not an email address so the application warns us and block the registration process. Now the information is, is correct and um, the, the user uh, should be created. Okay, let's go to the login page and try to authenticate. So the application now is fully usable. We don't want to save the login. So the, the, the layout is it's quite beautiful. It's uh, uh, is provided by Codecalm Web Agency, so they are quite amazing because the the UI kit is clean and quite easy to use. Um, we succeed to implement all the pages like cards and charts. Of course, the the charts are using hard coded information, but it's, it's not so hard to uh, to to code the. To add uh, more features into the backend and provide the real information to inject into the into the charts. So uh, we have also pricing cards, components, a lot of them. Okay, pages. Up here we have the registration information. We have also the error pages like. Uh, page not found and server error gallery this is quite nice so we have a lot of containers also the source code is, is available here on github as mentioned before and um, we might sign out and again the index page is not not accessible. So uh, let's get back into the application. So guys, in case you you like this project, just grab the code, use it in your next project. The, the application is uh, is released under the MIT license, so you can use it for commercial or hobby project. I hope you, you like the application and uh, we will provide many others in the, uh, in the next few days. We, we have a huge collection with uh, open source, uh, open source uh, dashboards, coded for, for the moment coded only in Flask because we, we are prototyping the, the code generation in Flask for the moment, but uh, more will come in the next weeks like uh, Django and Node.js and other other frameworks and programming languages. See you on the on the next video. Bye.